Andrew, thanks for joining PropTech Carpool with Soho. Pleasure. You've got Thank a you uh, uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, you've got a really great story. You've just joined Cobden and Hasten, so yeah. tell me a bit about yourself. Announced on the first of July, um, Bright Residential, my my little baby, my agency for uh, about six or seven years. Um, joined the Cobden and Hasten network, so really exciting times for us to expand on what we do and bring our skill set to their team, and they're they're an amazing operations. So very very excited about it. So how long have you been in real estate for? Since oh, 18 years, yeah, <laughs> year 2000, well, the Olympics. And, and most of that has been on the property management side of things, or you, you've been No, I, I was originally a salesman, yep. salesman for the first 15 years. Um, I joked to everyone, I'm having the reverse career, yep. and next year I'll be on the reception desk. <laughs> um, so I've gone sales, and then when I started my own agency, continued to sell and do a little bit of property management on the side, but really found a niche in property management and bringing the sales level of service and experience to property management. Yep. Um, so focused on that and really heavily for probably the last three years of the business and organically grew a, a, a nice little rent roll. You're also in the PropTech space as well. You've come <laughs> up with something called Flick It Over, which I was actually a big, big fan of, uh, but maybe you could kind of tell us a little bit more what's actually yeah. about. Yeah, look, as part of our agency, always looking on how we can do things better for the client, for the customer. We wanted to improve the tenant's experience on dealing with the agency. Um, the way we signed a lease in 2017 was the same way we signed a lease in 1917. Mm. The tenant still had to come to my office, sit there, have me explain a lease and say, this is your name, this is the start date, this is the rent, and then they sign it. It's a government prescribed document uh, mainly, so you know there's not much in there that changes and a lot of it is in there to protect the tenant. 12 months later, they'll have to come back to our office and sign the exact same lease. Yep. Um, so it was, and then, you know, a lot of them can't do that. So you would email it out to them. The lease returns incorrectly signed. You've got to resend it again. So it's like this game of tennis on emails um, to get a lease in place by the time we needed. So we, we thought we could solve it. And we, we went on this journey of working on how to do it. We looked at many different options. We looked at current technology and we, we f I found that you couldn't wedge any new technology into existing technology to solve it. The only way to do it was to start from scratch. Yeah. So we came up with a product called Flick It Over, where yep. an agent just prepares a lease in their office and then just flicks it to the tenant via SMS. Um, the tenant reviews a nice little UX on, the, on their phone screen. There's never more than two bits of information at any one time yep. or two buttons for them to consider saying, yes, I agree or no, I don't disagree. I, I would like to edit something. Um, they walk through it nice and gently and, you know, five to seven minutes after sending an SMS, the agent's got a fully executed lease back. And it's all signed by finger, isn't it? Because yeah. that, that was a big thing for me, you know, it was like, do I have to print this thing off? Do I have to, you know, sign it again and then scan it back? But it's yep. all, I, I pretty much just jumped on, tick box, tick box, and then um, signed with my finger and I was good to go. Yes, and look, it's one of the things that you talk about printing a lease. It, it was never an intention at the start, but it's one of the, it's going to have a massive environmental impact. Um, every time an agent prints a lease, it's 50 pages of for paper wow. um, so you know already in the short term time we've been live we've signed over 2,000 leases mm -hmm. so I think it's I don't know the exact numbers but roughly every time we sign about 160 leases we're saving one tree from being cut down Wow! Yeah, that's so right. and we're only got a little bit of the market at the moment once we grow we'll have a significant impact on the amount of paper agencies printing bills are being significantly reduced. Um, yeah, so there, there's an accidental impact of it, but it's quite environmentally friendly as well. I guess from an agent's point of view, most of that stuff is super time consuming. It takes hours and hours and hours to actually do those leases up. So I guess by making it electronic, how many hours are you projecting to, to actually save? Yeah, look, for an agent with a, a small portfolio, say they're looking after 200 managements, 150, 200, they're probably gonna save four to six hours a week in admin. All the things of, one, you're never going to do a lease signing appointment again. So mm -hmm. that half an hour to sit down and explain a lease disappears from your workday. Yeah. Once you sign it, having to scan it in and create a PDF copy, maybe you need to create a copy for the owner and retract all the tenant's details out of it so they don't have phone numbers and email addresses, mm -hmm. um, file it in your own system, all that disappears from your work. Yep. Once a tenant signs a lease, we'll digitally store the lease for you in the cloud. It'll The system will automatically prepare your owner a um, copy of the lease. So it'll remove all the tenant's personal details from the lease. Yep. Um, and it's always on a perfectly clean PDF copy. It's never a scanned copy that's been scanned three or four times and it can be hard to read if things go wrong and you do need to go to tribunal. Yeah. You'll have a nice clean lease to take with you. Yeah. Well, look at, let's look at a tenant. For a tenant, what's the advantages of, of using it? And then for an agent or an agency to use it, what was some of the yeah. benefits? For the tenant, um, the great thing is you can see a property on Saturday and apply for it. And this is for a, this is a double benefit for agent and tenant and the owner. You can see the property on Saturday. You apply for it. You approve Monday. Usually by three o'clock on Monday afternoon, all my leases from the weekend are signed. Mm. 
all the properties we've approved tenants on. It's, we, we let them know it's coming via SMS. We give them the option to come into the office. They all still say, no, please send it to my phone. They can sit at their desk at their office or at home on the couch and sign the lease without having to jump in the car and travel to our office um, or without the agent having to print all the leases and prepare them and sit down and do a lease, a lease signing appointment. Yep. For the lease renewal, that's probably where the agents see the most benefit. Mm -hmm. Agents forever are chasing lease renewals. You know, most tenants say they're too busy, we don't have time to come in. If you ask a married couple with kids, when are they both available between nine to five, that time doesn't exist. Yeah, it does sure. exist. You, yeah. you can probably tell with, them. With a three-year-old, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can definitely so vouch for that. That time doesn't exist. So we can now say, great, no problems, we'll send it to you. Dad can be at work, mum can be at home, or dad's at home and mum's at work. Yep. They can be in two different locations. The lease is still signed in five minutes and sent back. It'll put both signatures on the lease and create a PDF. Yep. So obviously there is a, a, a cost involved in kind of using these platforms. What are you what are you looking at if we want to kind of sign up? Yeah, it depends on the agency size. Um, there's sort of a three tiered subscription, but it'll range for an agency anywhere from one fifty to three hundred dollars per month. Mm -hmm. um, so look, even for the smaller agencies, you know, it's working out roughly around about um, oh, maths on the run. You're looking around about forty forty dollars yep. a week. Yep. For the saving it's giving you for forty dollars a week, it's, it's, yeah, the feedback we've got from agencies is it's well offset. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also actually the printing costs as well. Yeah. Um, it's often... Probably had a few mentors along the way, guys you've kind of, um, I don't know, looked up to or yeah. any, any, any noticeable guys or, I mean, what do you, what do you learn from the, probably, the guys above you? I don't want to name them because they probably no, didn't know they were a mentor <laughs> at the time. Um, or, I'm like a sponge. If yep. you put me around somebody that's, you know, in the industry, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pick, I just love to sort of get in their brain and find out what they've done and what they've done differently. Yeah. I'll hear them say one thing and I'll, you know, that's how I sort of learned was just, you know, mirroring what I see the great agents do out there. Yep. I was very fortunate to have some great bosses at the early stages of my career. Mm -hmm who really um, sort of taught me the knack of real estate and looking after the customer, always putting their interests first. Um, but I, it's not just real estate. I've picked it up from many areas. You know, there's just going to, you know, I love going to the Apple store. I don't know what they, those guys do or how they train their staff, but it doesn't yep. matter how big of the problem it is when you go in there, um, you always walk out happy. You know, they're yep. always more than happy to help you. It's never a big issue. No problem, we've got this covered for you. Yeah. It's an amazing experience and they've replicated it worldwide somehow. Or if you go to the Telstra store, I don't want to bag Telstra, but yep. you go to, you go to another retail store, <laughs> you can have mixed. You can have an amazing person, then you get someone who's not as great. Yeah. They've somehow replicated. So it's not just real estate. I look for inspiration. I look for it in all different areas. Um, you know, whether it's going out to a dinner and having a nice dining experience or a cafe experience, and seeing what they did. How did they give me that nice feeling? And how do I replicate that in my business? Yeah, Andrew, thanks for joining Prop Day Carpool with Soho. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Appreciate it.